Hi guys, it's Frankie Torres for the Pixel Slayers, and today we have an interesting video. I have a little machine I purchased to run really old Windows games, and I didn't really want to dump any money into it, so I went on Amazon and looked for the cheapest keyboard and mouse combo I could find that would be suitable for playing these old games. So, here we are. We have the verbatim slimline ported USB keyboard and mouse. It's very fancy. It also costs a myriad dollars. Is this decent enough to use? We'll find out. Let's just unbox it. We're not going to do a full test, but I'm just going to give you my first impressions on it. This is the cheapest keyboard I could find on the internet. Keyboard and mouse keyboard, I mean. So, quick unboxing. We have this beautiful packaging uh, cardboard. Look at that. Real beautiful cardboard there. And we have a smaller than expected mouse. Kind of looks like a little um, laptop mouse, to be honest with you, except not wireless. Uh, very thin cables. Um, pretty decent length, though. Clicky. Pretty comfortable, actually, given its small size. So it's actually not a bad mouse. I mean, normally I would pay $8 just for this, maybe a little nicer one, but that's not bad. Um, considering that it's technically like four dollars. All right, so here's the keyboard. It's actually a bit nicer than the mouse, in my opinion. It's not a bad keyboard. Let me just set it down. No mechanical key feel at all, but it's actually not bad. Um, the plastics are very cheap, but four dollars, like not bad for four dollars, like. Pretty decent. It's pretty compact too, so if you're like limited with space, it's not bad. I also like how they just use the basic keys, so you, they expect you to be able to use on multiple platforms. So yeah, not a bad keyboard for four dollars. The cheapest keyboard I could find on Amazon, and with the, along with the mouse here, um, yeah, eight dollars for a mouse and keyboard on Amazon. Can't say too much about it, um, but it feels pretty good. A little smaller, if you have small hands, will be right at home. Otherwise, uh, it might be a little cramped for you, but $4. And then the keyboard has these risers in the back. You know what's amazing, though? No flex. I mean, it has flex. Okay, I lied. There's flex, but I was expecting it to like be bending and stuff, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, full keys. Nice mouse, once again. $8. So, cheapest keyboard and mouse on Amazon. Probably the internet. I so far recommend it. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video. And, uh, yeah, if you need a really cheap keyboard and mouse uh, to play old games like me, this is might be an option. Maybe. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.